out of Babylon. Good morning. Good evening. No, it's not right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. YouTubers. Hey, you know, there's a channel. I don't know how much longer it's going to be on, so if you like guns, <clears throat> a couple of them, if YouTube gets nasty about this whole thing. Um, Demolition Ranch. Uh, the kid is funny. He's a riot. Uh, has some great ones on it. I'm not even going to begin to, you know, just scroll through them. If there's anything interest you, great. You know, just kind of a shout out to him. But he's just, he's a funny kid. Um, blows things up. Tests different weird things. Tests a lot of armor. Am, um, armor piercing type stuff. And, uh, you know, bulletproof stuff. Armor too. So, anyway. Uh, and Jerry Michulek. Michulek. M-C-U-L-E-K. He's pretty funny. I just watched one of him of a... He's like the Terminator coming back, you know, and he was sent back into this century to teach people the love of guns and firearms. So <laughs> it's pretty cool, pretty cute. Um, so a little bit of culinary stuff here. Uh, in in a daily situation, if you if you eat meat, I'm not assuming everybody does because not everybody does. But if you eat meat, and let's say you got some burger and you want to make some uh, hamburgers and you want to do it quick neat clean don't contaminate the meat don't get your hands greasy you know um and you want to make a nice round thin patty you know that will cook quickly okay um and what I, the way i do that is and this is just kind of a kind of a no-brainer everybody might know but it's just something i do and so i just wanted to pass it along um take a baggie Sandwich baggie works great. This is a Ziploc baggie. Okay. Put the bag on the baggie. Put the bag on the the lid. <laughs> and the lid is a wide mouth. It has to be a coffee kombucha um, cold brew lid. No, it doesn't. Just a wide, you know, wide mouth typical standard mayonnaise jar lid so you put that on there just lay it on top you take your blob of burger you squeeze it in there okay so I'm gonna do that I made one I'm gonna go ahead and make another one just so it's live on camera okay so I just take a little bit and I squeeze it you know there's about two there's three more in there call it so I just squeeze out a blob and I don't want it real thick you know Especially if you're gonna eat two of them anyway, and I'm not I might or might not, but just squeeze it in there. Boom. It's in there. Okay, I don't have to touch it. That might have been a little light, but that's okay, because I'm gonna make a thin one and that'll be my second one if I do eat it. <clears throat> so you just mash it out. And if you want to squeeze a little more in and make a full burger, then go right. You know, you can just drop it in at that point. Now this is gonna be a real thin one. The thinnest ever, but that's okay. It's just a demo. It's my demo burger. Okay, and then you just take that out of there. Now you could grease, you know, oil this with coconut oil, or well, actually with some um, olive oil, or something, to make it easier to come out. But that came right out. You can shake it out. So there, I have done enough to wash my hands. Boom, ready to fry. There you go. Now let's come over to the stove just so somebody understands this thing because I don't want to name any names and don't tell her that I said anything but piezoelectric is really not that hard to grasp but I guess some people that have uh well I'm not going to say anymore okay put that on there actually on the other one I'm going to swap it out. Now, the reason we're using this is because of the fact that... Get my earplug swapped out here. The propane tank is close enough to empty that I don't want to mess with it. And so we're not using the propane tank. And, you know, like to get it filled for reserves for people visiting and stuff so we can live kind of a little bit more normally. But right now, I don't give a rat's ass. It ain't going to get used until I fill it. So, or actually get another tank in there. And I don't want to do that. So, this is the uh, 
gas one stove right here dual burner I'll show you that in a minute dual fuel so you just turn that until it clicks it's real simple uh, foolproof but I guess it isn't so I won't say any more but uh, it's not that difficult and of course it's adjustable well oh, almost took that out uh, you know you can see by the width you know standard thing you can get it to full burn yeah and if I go all the way down there guess what it's gonna click So that's how you light it now on the other side here I think I might have shown this before but since I'm on the a roll here this junk is in the way not really okay this one has propane bottle it'll work with the one pound propane bottle so you just screw this in here right here instead of using the this is the little flip thing I think I've showed before but the one pound or the not the one pound butane cans just so you know because I mean I for it's been years and years well since 1999 since I've done this and I never did own one back then I bought one since then and I never did use it so it had been 18 years since I've seen it even done but these are eight ounce cans canisters all you got to do is find that little open spot there okay there's a tab there you lift that tab up you know you can just do it with the can you just lift that tab up with the can drop it in there slam this lever down click and you're good to go okay real simple uh, theoretically foolproof now the only thing is nope I'm not gonna go there <laughs> um, anyway so very slick now this one has to be outside of the case in order to use it the little one that I got the single burner has to be outside of the case to use it but as I remember it the single burner in like a suitcase thing is self-contained you can put the can in you can close it <laughs> and you can light it and use it right in the case that's what I remember um, <coughs> I bought one off eBay a while back and I do not remember whether or not that's the case and I'm, I'm pretty sure but no I have I just haven't I'm, pr I'm almost positive but I haven't found the thing and I'm I looked for it one time and I haven't been in to dig through the the airstream to find it <coughs> so if I do then we'll have three of those here so when people come visit or whatever they should have their own stoves they should have their own bathroom they should have their own shower but we're going to do what we can to have facilities let's say it's an emergency and somebody shows up then okay here's a stove here's a shower here's a bath here's a toilet you know a composting toilet and by the way if you're coming here get used to the idea of using a composting toilet I mean it's pretty much a no-brainer you want to grow a garden you want to have um, you know a, a lush environment uh, you need to do what it says in the law Torah bury your shit okay not using any foul language that's just dung whatever dung shit poop excrement deal with it uh, get a shovel keep it with you so it'd be one of your number one weapons and and when you're using it as a weapon it's already got some dung on it so no it's that's just <laughs> Yeah, one of the ways that, you know, bungee traps in, uh, bungee stake traps in Vietnam and uh, World War II, Okinawa and whatnot. Um, don't get punctured. Then you might need something more than lead them. So, anyway, there's my, uh, and then the bag is, you know, just take it over the sink, throw it with hot water, rinse it, whatever, clean it, turn it inside out, let it dry out, boom, reuse it. Okay. All right, so that's it. Jerry Dime with How to Get Out of Babylon. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. Um, nine minutes. Uh, real quick, I've added to the playlist. There is a playlist for Lights Out. Um, I have added to it at about chapter 31, I think. There's a break there, so there'll be a bunch of other videos. Then I'm going to add the rest of the videos that I've done since then. And then I'll probably wait until I finish the book to add that remainder bunch of videos. So in those interims, there's going to be, then there will be one, two breaks. Um, there'll be stuff in between. Other things about Lights Out, other things pertaining to the story, Lights Out. And one of the things I added just recently was trick shooting, cowboy shooting, since that's a topic that came up in the last chapter. 
with Susan thinking that guy only had a cowboy gun, you know, he only had him with a, a, a lever action. And I went into that in the video, I'm not going to repeat it, but I added some videos on that. I added the video of Dylan Halsey, H-O-L-S-E-Y, it wasn't Hoxie, it's Halsey, H-O-L-S-E-Y, a.k.a. Matt Black, shooting against a submachine gun. Um, don't mess with the guys. They are fast. They're faster than... If there were nine people with full auto AK-47s and a guy with a lever action rifle that knows how to use it like that at 100 yards, 50 yards, something like that, I'd put my money on the guy with the lever action rifle because he would be putting headshots right there. Uh, the other guy's going to be going, oh, oh, you know, and there would be nine dead guys. So watch Dylan against a submachine gun. Or if you put nine guys with them, oh yeah, no question, you know, <laughs> nine against nine, nah, no, no, absolutely no competition. Two of them would be uh, not even fair. So, all right, that's it. This is Jerry Dime with How to Get Out of Babylon. If you're listening to this, you're the remnant.